Well, discussions, uh, discussions about money got heated tonight between some South Bend Common Council members. The council's proposed budget for 2015 was the topic, and it's $80,000 more than this year's budget. WSBT's James Fillmore is here. And James, this was just one of the issues some people have. Well, a couple of council members have a problem with the amount of money being proposed to cover potential legal expenses, Rick. The debate can't go on for too long, though, because there's only about six weeks left until the council's budget has to be approved. Council President Oliver Davis and Council Member Valerie Shea put together a proposed budget for 2015. The total comes to more than $623,000, which is thousands more than the current budget. Council Member Tim Scott says that's not okay since the city cut around $56 million from its proposed 2015 budget. This year uh, we have uh, faced extraordinary legal expenses with the federal wiretapping um, case, uh, some matters with the ACLU. Issues like these are exactly why some council members are interested in budgeting extra money for legal fees. But council member Fred Furlick doesn't think that's necessary. We have plenty of legal counsel with our own attorney and with the city attorneys. In 2013, the council paid more than $71,000 in legal fees. But for 2015, the proposal is to allocate around $120,000 more than that. Council President Oliver Davis says this year they're using money to pay for legal bills from the year before. So he thinks having the money available is better than rushing to move around funds at the last minute. We have to make sure that we, as a council, are anticipating every type of issue that we can anticipate so we can be upfront with people on how we're going to deal with it. Becky Kaiser was at the meeting and she doesn't want the council to approve its budget with more money for legal fees. In the sense of transparency, I don't want them to just have a checkbook that they can start writing checks on without the people of South Bend knowing what they're writing them for. Well, Davis says even though they budgeted more money for 2015, it doesn't mean they'll spend it all, and what's left goes back into the city's general fund. Shea says the same is true for any unused money for legal fees. Now, council members will be meeting again Monday at 4 to go over every line item and discuss what changes they'd like to see, if any. In the studio, James Fillmore, WSBT, Channel 22 News.